the Lord said I should tell you your decisions matter the decision you make matter a lot if you make a good decision you will enjoy if you make a bad decision it is left for you if you want good roads make a good decision if you want good hospitals make a good decision any decision you make this time around matter a lot and you must make the right decision make the right choice this is your opportunity God is telling you to make the right decision in this coming election it is an opportunity given to you once more to wrong to right the wrongs elect good leaders leaders that know the meaning of education leaders that know the meaning of international affairs leaders that we create employment leaders that we build good hospitals not those that run to abroad for medical checkups elect useful leaders young leaders those that have vision you must get it right this time nigerian youth otherwise you will face the consequences for the next eight years and this time around it is going to be catastrophic you must vote and defend your vote you must vote and defend your vote god has given you a new opportunity don't allow anybody to deceive you don't say yes he comes from my 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 area therefore i'm going to vote him no vote someone with capacity and you will enjoy life because you have no life there in nigeria to be very honest the life there have been taken by few in the political structures they organize themselves, their children are studying abroad while you are suffering and you don't want to know. Get it right. Elect youthful leaders, elect leaders that have vision, leaders that have capacity, leaders that will build good roads, leaders that will create employment for you, leaders that know, know the meaning of electricity, steady power, steady power supply, steady water. Don't make mistake again like you did last time. Otherwise, you are going to suffer. God said I should tell you this time around to gather all your power and campaign for a, a leader that is going to liberate you, a leader that is going to save you from the pit of destruction that the country has been thrown into. Dollar is one dollar to six hundred. Could you imagine? One dollar, six hundred and ten naira, six hundred and five naira, six hundred naira. Could you imagine? Which country survives by such? For subsidy devaluation of naira, which country can survive under such influences? Don't elect old, old leaders. Anyone above 60, 65, don't elect the person. The person should be in retirement, not coming to handle the affairs of your nation in this computer age when things are flying. They will never understand you. God has given you this opportunity. He bless you. In Jesus' name. May God Almighty bless you. Children of God all over the world. Nigeria youth, may God bless you. And give you the opportunity and the power to elect good leaders. To elect good leaders. Amen, amen. Be blessed. I remain your humble servant, Apostle, Prophet, I, author of Restoration Get Ministry, Stockholm, Sweden. Saying, may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, both now and forever. Shalom, shalom. Be blessed, be blessed.